Okay, Ian, now we're, we're driving along. Now, you was telling me something because it's the modern world, but, you know, I, I'm sort of like, you know, I, I'm, I'm from the Eastern Cape, and so <laughs> I don't even do cars. I walk in with the, it. In the Western Cape, we have this beautiful thing called capitalism. <laughs> and I, um, I am deep inside this matrix. And so I have a health plan, mm -hmm. as you do, especially if you've got a family and you're middle class, you know, you're not going to stand in the lines. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I, I have this uh, insurance plan mm -hmm. and health plan, and if I behave well, the system rewards me. Well, how do they know if you behave well enough? Well, here's the thing. They track everything that I do. So, you know, we're worried oh, about Lord. Elon Musk and Neuralink and something in your brain, but it doesn't have to be so invasive because you have a cell phone in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So my cell phone, because it's always in my pocket, knows where I'm walking and how far I'm walking. Mm. And it sends that data to the health plan and it says, hey, client X123905 has walked 10,000 steps today. Reward this person. What? Yeah. And so I get these points. And these points can be redeemed for the delights of the capitalist system. So I can get uh, coffees and movies and, uh, you know, all sorts of, uh, all sorts of lovely things that aid and abet my psychology and my health. You know, oh, coffee sorry. is scientifically proven to be more healthy than air. <laughs> Let me go back for just a second. Well, well, well how do they, what does this have to do with coffee? Did they know when you drink coffee because you no, use your it's, card? It's, it's actually got nothing to do with coffee, but like I said, you earn these points mm -hmm. for fulfilling your exercise objectives. Mm -hmm. And those points can be redeemed against, well, at various vendors for, for different kinds of products. Mm. Popcorn at the cinema, or you know, a burger at a joint, so whatever it is, you know, nappies, whatever. Mm. It's a currency, they've developed a currency. Um, but also my car uh -huh. uh, also tracks what I'm doing. What? Yeah, 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 my car tracks my driving. So they've gamified the driving for car insurance because they want to reduce the amount of claims their system is that you put this little tracker in your car oh. and it monitors really your driving pattern so if you brake too hard if you speed if you take the corners what? too fast it, it, it monitors all these behaviors and then it, it, uh, you, you start off the day with 25 points and for every driving error that you make speeding, braking too hard, whatever, it takes points away. So if you drive well, you score a maximum points and that turns into currency. So if you drive well, if you exercise and if you have their banking solution and you bank well, like you save, you don't spend above your means, etc, etc, then you get these points. And if you're really good at, game, at, at playing this game, you can actually you, you can actually pay for a lot of your life. <laughs> of course, you are paying for this privilege in the first place. Mm. So all you're doing in the end is maybe getting some back of what you've spent on healthcare, car care, and whatever other care that you've got loaded. So that's what. So that's what you said. That's why you you so got you got. Oh. When I need a coffee, like if I don't have time to have a coffee at home because I have to leave too early, then I will stop there and I will get one of these at no charge to my pocket. Wow. And it's, a, it's a good cup of coffee. It's not like I'm compromising my principles around coffee. No. It's not. It's not. It's not like a, a Moses coffee, but it's it's a good coffee. That's true. It's not quite at the level of Moses, and I'm in the matrix of big businesses. Mm. So I do have to also allocate disposable income to coffees from smaller businesses and to support that ecosystem. Uh -huh. So I do. That. But uh -huh. anyway. Um, Capitalism serves my addictive needs really well. <laughs> I'm happy to say. Um, now they're talking about all these other operating systems, and I would love to see the gamification of an alternative operating system, a more socialist approach. Mm. And this is where I think government needs to be thinking more around the gamification of energy, um, health, all of these kinds of things, so that actually citizens could earn points in some sort of alternative government currency that you can redeem. So like, if you're living in an informal settlement and you use your indigent power grant Oops. to put solar on your rooftop, mm -hmm. and if you generate a solar surplus, then that should be turned into currency that you can redeem 
you know, at a, at a merchant. So we have the opportunity actually to take this model that this insurance provider has created for its clients and apply it somewhere else where there could actually be a real valuable, useful social um, need, uh, benefit. Okay. This is great. I mean, you know, I'm all for this, but I, I am trapped within this uh, cycle. Willingly, you know, I'm playing the game. I do like a cup of coffee. Oh, so uh, well, welcome to Indigenous Servitude. Free will? That's the name of a chocolate. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs>